Okay, so we got the floor press bench. Now, I like this for two reasons. One, I work with a lot of fighters, so we work a lot in that anterior chain motion, right? So we're punching a lot. So our shoulders, our triceps are getting a lot of work. The main thing that we wanna do is we wanna put them in the best position to be successful. So with this, it allows us to still produce a lot of force from a given position that is conducive to the sport. So when you are doing jujitsu or you're on the ground fighting, you don't have the ability to bring your elbows all the way back, right? You have to be strong in this plane of motion with this minimal amount of, of range. So this will help us drive more force into either the bar or to an opponent. And then also it keeps our body safe, right? Another thing with the bench is you can use leg drive. I don't recommend it half the time. If you're gonna do a, a real floor press, you wouldn't use leg drive. But for this, you can use it to maintain some stability and to work full body as you go to press up. So I'm actually gonna squeeze the bench with my inner thighs, squeeze my glutes, lock in, drive, and then make sure that I'm having a strict bar path to, uh, to get the stimulus response that we're looking for. So <clears throat> I'll set up, very simple. And this has a lot of attachments. I like that we have the, uh, the plates here that we can push into it. So the pins, if we want to do any static overcome by dynamic, we want to do any yielding isometrics, we want to do any overcoming isometrics, we can do that. So I take the bar, very simple. Again, set up just like a regular bench. Grab the bar tight, bring it down, lock the lats in place, make sure the knuckles are facing the ceiling. We're gonna come straight down and then punch. Now, again, we have the pins here. So if I wanted to rest it at a certain range, I could do that too as well. Um, and then again, we can work on those mini maxes, whether we are stuck at the lockout, we're stuck right off the chest, we can keep that going. And then from there, I could do what's called contrast sets. So I can go maximal force and then get off of this and go right into an explosive power movement to create that response of power and explosiveness for fighters, for athletes, um, even for powerlifters, it's really good. So definitely like this machine.